Hello, it's Melinda from Alexis and Melinda's Art Space. Just coming on with another quickie haul. I had to pop into Coles Supermarket tonight, um, which is Coles Supermarket is one of our major supermarket chains here in Australia. And I had to pop in for one thing and ended up with four Easter things. Oops, but I couldn't resist these. And I find with Coles and even Safeway and places like that, if you don't grab the Easter stuff, even though Easter is four weeks away, it'll sell out and they won't restock it. So I grabbed some of their craft or non non crafty items, but I'm going to use for craft Okay, I'm gonna to have to cut this seal. So the first thing I picked up these were they were really really cheap actually um, Cookie stamps these were four dollars So these are three pack cookie stamps So I thought these would be cute and I had all these things I had in mind for my gel plate so you get a little wooden handle and then you get an Easter egg. You get a happy Easter. Now I don't know how that's going to work on the gel plate. I think it's going to stamp it because it's backwards. I'd obviously stamp the right way around, but then it'll be backwards on the gel plate. So maybe this one just is a stamp. But you could easily ink this up or paint it and then just stamp it as well. And then the cutest little bunny with the little hearts. So I'm not actually going to use these for cookies. I'm going to use these on my gel plate. And I will bring you a video, mainly these two. I'll bring you a video to when I'm making some Easter paper for some Easter projects I've got in mind in the next couple of weeks. So for $4, I thought that was really, really cool. Next thing I got was, I'm hoping that light's all right. Oh, yes, it is. An Easter sun catcher. So you get two eggs, a bunny, and a little lamby. The lamb is cute. So I'll just quickly open this. Sorry about the noise. Um, Alexa saw this and go, oh, for me. I said, no, for me. She goes, for me. And I go, oh, okay. I have to go buy another one. So we got a stick. I don't even know what that stick is for. No idea. It's obviously got some paints, which I don't think are going to be very good. Um, but we'll try the paints out. But mainly I got them for these, which are actually textured on the front side so they're actually indented so I thought they would make great impressions in the gel plate um, so again that will be something I may even stick a little handle to the back of them so they're easy to pull up um, out of the gel plate um, but I thought they would make really cool impressions in the gel plate as well and these were four dollars for a pack of four I don't know whether I use the lamb as much but I'm definitely going to use the bunny and the two eggs so I will do that video as well as part of my Easter series. But I thought I'd show you these products in case you want to run out and grab them. Because I know places like this only have them for a short period of time and only get in like one. I might only get in two boxes per store and once they're gone, they're gone. So I can't work out what this is for. Oh, one paint spatula. Is that supposed to be a paint spatula? It says four sun catches, four mini paints, one paint spatula. I don't know. Has no other instructions apart from that. Warning. Suffocation. Keep away from children. Oh, Alexis can't have it. No, that's the bag. I should tell Alexis she can't have it. That stick might come in handy. Then I picked up some sticker assortment. Um, glittery little baskets, eggs. Um, what else is in here? Um, other eggs, chicks. There's a rabbit. It's more rabbits. These were nicer stickers. These were $3 a pack. They had some at the reject shop, but I didn't like them because they were printed. <coughs> Excuse me. I thought my voice would last. They were printed on designs, and they didn't look like they looked kiddish, but these ones could look really nice because they're glittery. Um, oh, and they got some butterflies in there as well. So I will be using those in some upcoming projects. Oh, and some carrots. Actually, let's pull them out and have a look because... Why not? Let's put glitter everywhere. <coughs> I do apologise about my voice. I've got a bit of a bug in my throat. Oh, look at the bunnies. Oh, and the chickies. So some are glittered and some aren't. It's a little basket you can take the top out of. It's a glittery chick. Some butterflies. <coughs> oh, excuse me. glittery carrot <coughs> as a glittery bunny so it looks like there's a mixture of glittery ones and non-glittery ones 
So I thought even these I could make some. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I could make some um, foam stamps for my gel plate to make some of my own paper. You can stick these on. These are quite thin, so I probably have to double or triple them. Um, stick them on a piece of cardboard and make my own stamps for the gel plate. So that was an idea as well. And last but not least, before I totally lose my voice, is I bought some window decorations. These were $3. But the thing I liked about these, again, sorry about the crinkling, and my voice, I do apologise. I thought I could get through this without my voice going silly. What I loved about these is they're only paper, but they're like die cuts. And I thought they would make awesome stencils on the gel plate. I love the bunny. So the idea behind these is oh, I love the bunny holding the egg and the goat. Um, obviously got some thread to hang them and then you got tissue paper. So the idea behind these is you put oh nice colours of tissue paper. Is you put the tissue paper in the holes and then you hang them and then the light can shine through. So I got some nice little tissue paper as well, but that's especially gorgeous. So I thought these would make a nice stencil um, for gel printing. Or you could use these, as, you could put these down and spray or paint around them as well. So again, I'll be doing a video when my voice is better and playing with those as well. So I do apologise about my voice in this video, but I wanted to let you know what is out and about there for craft for Easter that you can repurpose into paper crafts. Because I know for a fact that Spotlight and Lincraft will not have a lot for Easter card making or scrapbooking. They tend to have a lot of stickers or like you can get foam things like these. Um, but it's great to repurpose these other things, especially for the gel plate. Or even you could ink these up and use them. Or you could simply put pattern paper behind these and use them as an embellishment as well. And I'm going to go before my voice is totally irritating everybody. Because, um, yeah, I need to go. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.